Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. I'm going to talk about the Victor 12 and the gear train that was with the two gears that it's held with two steel pins. And these are the steel pins that came out. These are semi-tapered. But what I came, what I found out was that it's oblong the hole here. And you can see how the hole is out of round. And you come to the other side, this one's really out of round. So what I've done from what? From use. What happens is the pin hit the brass piece here and on this side. So the steel shaft's in here. So the steel shaft is just going like this inside that hole and it oblonged everything out. So putting in a number five taper, which I figured out was the right size to use. And this is a taper ream and this is a tapered pin. And when you take one of these pins that came out of the machine, it slides in and stops, and there's no hook to it. It just is, it gets in here and it gets loose, and they didn't drive them in hard enough. And this is just a little boo boo from the factory. Can't you just take a hammer and drive that pin in you farther? Could, you could drive the pin in farther, but to do it, you're going to need a V block like this because now we can't beat on the shaft or the brass gear. So to support the gear, I set everything up on a V block with this part of the steel, up this part of the gear here. And now I can beat, tap in the pins better. If you set it down here and say, okay, I'm gonna tap, you can flatten out your gears ruin it and then you're really Houston we have a problem so I, what I've done is I've pre-drilled and I've tapered reamed for the new hole and you'll so come you had to drill out a bigger hole I had to drill out a bigger hole through both the gear and the shaft mm -hmm. and now you'll see that it's coming out here so then when I tap it in it'll fill everything up. This one I've done. But what happens is once you tap it in, the shaft's going to stick up here. So you have to shorten the tapered pin to fit in. After so or before? Before. In a few minutes off camera, I'm going to take off where my fingernail is, up, off, and redo it, and then tap it in because these are very short. Can't you do that now? Yeah, I can just take this pin. There it is. So we're going to take the pin. Cut it off. I'll go over the belt sander, fix the tip. I chamfered the top and I flattened out the top. I chamfered the sides and I flattened out the top. Then you will come in here. And now they're solid as a rock. But this way, with no, a, you didn't have to cut those sticky no, out these, parts. No, these sticky out parts won't hit anything. I just shortened it out for aesthetic reasons. The nice thing about the V block is 
you have this recessed area here in the middle. So when you're tapping in, You can align your pin and I can come in here and I can see where it's when it starts to bottom out. Also, this helps when you're taking the old pin out. You can tap, tap, tap. You'll feel it bottom out into the V-block. Then you will just push it over a little, always keeping it supported and pop it out. But this is how you fix this. It gets a little complicated, but you're going to need, you know, a tapered ream and the drill and the pin. And a hammer and a punch. And a hammer and a punch and a sweet angel. And that's my tip for the day.